I'm going to show you how you can easily downgrade Beat Saber on PC. The main reason you'd want to do this is because when Beat Saber updates, all your mods will break and that's super annoying and then you'd have to wait for them to be updated. The first thing you want to do is Google Beat Saber Legacy Launcher or this will be linked in the description. You go to this page and you press the download button. It should be a short download and once it's done, just open up the file. This file will be compressed, so make sure you extract it. If you try and open it here, it will give you uh, an extraction window, which we don't want to do because we want to extract the entire folder. So go to the entire folder and extract to wherever you'd like it. I've just done it in the same folder that it's in, so it will appear just above. Once that's done, it'll open up. If not, just double click the extracted one, open it up, and then you want to click on the application here Windows gives you a warning, but it's absolutely fine. So click more details and press run. And then this launcher should open up. On this window, you wanna press select version and then select the version you desire. At this point, I would recommend installing 1.29. This is as of August of 2023, because that is one before the latest version. And that's normally the best way to go. Just go one before the latest version should ideally have lots of mods for it. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to install some old version, which I haven't installed before. So I'm just going to download this one from 2022. And basically you want to press download and then it'll ask for your Steam information. This is so it verifies you actually bought the game. And so I put my information in and it will begin downloading. So once it's finished downloading, you can press back. And then under selected version, you should have 1.20, which is the one I just installed. So then you have three options. I only use the desktop mode or Oculus mode. For now, since I'm on my computer, I'll use desktop mode. This is awesome to see whether mods have successfully loaded or not, because it's really easy to look into without putting your headset on. And then if you look down at the, the foot, you can see that it has the version number 1.20. I'm now gonna quickly show you mod assistant and how to select the correct version. So selecting the correct installation folder, go to the BS Legacy Launcher that we've just extracted and run. Go to installed versions and there you should see your version. So select that as your installation folder. You can see that's how it looks. And then if you go to the mods tab on the bottom left, you wanna make sure that you've selected the correct game version that matches your installation. Otherwise you'll be installing mods for the wrong version. So I'm gonna select 1.20 and then once that's loaded once that's loaded you can see all the mods by default it will have the, the core mods uh installing and you can select any extras you want and um, yeah and you can press install on the bottom right and as you can see it does everything for you and you don't have to do anything else once that's finished installing mods you can go back to the launcher open that up and press launch. I'm doing this in desktop mode just because I don't have my headset plugged in. And as you can see on the left, you can see that the mods have installed. And yeah, that's all there is to it. I hope this helped. Any questions, leave in the comments and I'll respond as soon as I can. And if you found this helpful, please drop a like as that supports me. So I'll see you in the next one.